healthy will kill you. It's not all about the healthy food. How's it going? So a lot of people were uh, inquiring about my health as far as uh, a year ago I had congested heart failure and they wanted to know how I was doing, how the recovery was. Well, the recovery is great. Um, soon after I got treated for the heart failure, put on the proper medications for blood pressure, everything started changing. Um, blood pressure stayed down, has stayed down. The problem that I had with my congestion heart failure probably came partially from uh, not properly maintaining my blood pressure for the last prior six years of uh, not having the right medications. Then on top of that, when I did start getting the symptoms of congestive heart failure, I was being treated for asthma, bronchitis, you know, things that happened that had to do with my lungs, which I didn't have a lung problem, don't have a lung problem. So uh, that's the other part of it. So when you guys, if there's someone out there being treated, make sure you get more than one diagnosis from doctors or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, if you're being treated and nothing's changing, go to another doctor. Let them know. Get a, give you know. Get a different opinion. You know. So I was being treated for blood pressure for six years, and there was no change in my blood pressure. So needless to say, now that I'm on new medications, my blood pressure has been normal. It's been great. Uh, with the uh, heart failure medications that I had, uh, that I, I use, everything's been great. So. All I can say is, uh, you guys don't see any change in medic. Don't just keep going with it. You know, I wouldn't even go now. Thinking back, I wouldn't even go a year if my blood pressure is not changing. Uh, I shouldn't have because it could have been a lot worse. So I would recommend that you would, you know, seek other alternatives. Go to go to a different doctor or something like that. Let them know that this medication is not changing, you know, not not doing it for you. So that being said, all is well, you know, in a new city. You know, and I'll talk about that at another time. But yeah, health wise, things are well. And thank you for your prayers and concerns. Do you feel like yourself 100%? 100% I do I actually I after being treated she my wife is asking me do I feel 100% uh, since being treated for the uh, congestive heart failure and I could I could truly say yes I actually once I got treated at the hospital and got out of the hospital and then got over that uh, you know to that well state I probably felt 150% but I felt better than I did for the prior six years of having uh, with the blood pressure problems, only the blood pressure problems. One of the one of the uh, symptoms of the uh, the congestive heart failure is uh, frequent uh, urination, which comes from the body is trying to extract the fluid from around the heart. So I didn't know that, and uh, that has been a major change when I uh, got started getting treated you know and they, once they got the fluid out and got on the right medication to keep the fluid out then it, it, it helps it makes you uh, sleep better you can rest and I mean you can actually lay down I was actually sleeping sitting up at one point because of my heart being sitting inside a fluid so, yeah, you guys got to take care of yourself, you know. 
maintain properly. Change your diets. Get proper uh, medical advice, medical treatment. And it's not easy. It's hard. Trust me, it's hard. Because I've been going to that doctor for a long time, you know, thinking that they, they knew, at least knew me. So they should know what's going on with me. Come to find out they didn't have a clue. So now, um, just have to exercise, maintain a good diet, and you know all those things that we should do anyway. But that's a big part of it: is uh, exercise and a proper diet. And with the diet part, now let's talk about the diet part. I've said lately that healthy will kill you. So, eating healthy is the key. Exercise is also part of it. But, be careful about that healthy eating because I've been saying healthy is not good for you. Meaning this, I recently went to a, re a restaurant and I had a salad and ended up having to go to the hospital a few days later for E. coli poisoning. So thank God I didn't wait or get to the point where I couldn't move and go, but you know, it, it took me through it for about a good month. You know, it took me, it made me very ill for about a good month. You know, I had to get treated and everything, but you know, I'm getting myself back now from that, but maintain a, balanced diet i'll say that i'm not gonna say healthy because all things that are good for you are not good to you and those that are good to you are not necessarily good for you so just balance just make sure you guys have a balanced diet and exercise okay it's good talking with you guys talk to you later Yeah. Uh -huh. New York, shut up,